about uh, do you think that the US intervention in Indian affairs has been more inimical than the former USSR in intervention in Indian affairs? Well, USSR uh, intervention in Indian affairs was not a religious conversion. It was a Marxist, communist kind of uh, thing and it started this Naxal body movement and now it's morphed into Maoist movement which is more China. Even Naxal body movement was more China inspired. Uh, the USSR uh, you know, I'll tell you there's a difference between a communist fanatic and a, a religious fanatic. People in the height of the communist uh, regime, you know, you wouldn't have people doing the equivalent of jihad, saying that I, I want to die for communism. I mean, they would, they would fight as part of their job. But it is not uh, metaphysical, it is not a metaphysical ideology. Uh, whereas people will say I'll die for my, uh, you know, for Islam, but there are not people who say I'll die for uh, you know, uh, communism. So even though they were they were they were rabid and they were doing a lot of harm, uh, because there's no big heaven and uh, paradise and all that stuff part of the back package, uh, people were not quite willing to go that far. Or let's say there were fewer people willing to go that far. So I would say that. And, and besides, I think India has weakened since then. You know, India has sort of uh, lowered its in, internally. We have become more fragmented. The government is not as cohesive. It takes more fragments to form a coalition government than before. Uh, so, and, and India has uh, got more dangerous neighbors. They are much more dangerous now than they were before. Uh, so, and this globalization has brought a whole lot of uh, Western churches to set up subsidiaries and branch offices all over India in the rural areas where the people are vulnerable. So the world has changed and that has made things more dangerous. Even if uh, uh, let's say if the Soviets were still alive and still active, that may, maybe they would have also been like that. So I, I don't think the Soviets were any better people. But the times are different now. India is more vulnerable, I would say.